Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important please that you do take whatever resonates with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions whatsoever you would like to contact me for a reading or question doesn't really matter what your reason is please do so. You can find all of my information right below into the YouTube description box. Um, please don't hesitate it will be my pleasure truly. Also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. I would also like to thank every one of my subscribers because you are very important to me, you're very important to the channel. I thank you for just being you because just in itself that is beautiful. So thank you so very much, um, very much appreciated. And I would like to also thank all of my subscribers who have uh, donated to the channel. Also much gratitude and I do thank you. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. These are messages that are coming from your uh, spirit guides, also from your angels. They want to give you different uh, messages here. Take what's good, leave the rest as usual. So we have some balance, we have some guilt, we have some purpose, we have some surrender, and we have with that some beautiful power. So let's go and see what exactly these messages are for you. Let's start with balance. We all need that balance, that core center. This is about bringing a state of perfect harmony into your world. And I know that sounds beautiful. And it's just doing so, but without any judgment. So balance, it means bringing a sense of stability and wholeness into every single area of your life. Many times when you look at a situation, but you look at it objectively, you are going to resonate with one side more than another. So try not to view either as good or as bad. Let's not classify. Simply recognize that it is. Now the true nature of the scales of balance is to give both sides of a situation, your equitable, your objective perspective. It can be really difficult to understand the side that you don't relate to, but that is a lesson in itself. What is it about you that prevents you from giving both sides of the coin of your non-judgmental assessment? This situation or person has been placed in your path to teach you that Everyone has his or her own unique, authentic life story and that you must put yourself in that person's shoes to really understand his or her motivation. Now, balance is a godly virtue and if, it, you know, you are struck, you're going to reap those benefits of insight and beautiful compassion. So let's move on over after we found this beautiful balance within ourselves, which is not an easy thing, but if we work on it, everything is possible and you will be happy that you did so. We do have guilt. Guilt is about releasing any beliefs that no longer assist into your soul's growth. So this is about that energy of fear, that toxic energy. We do not need it. It has many guises to complicate your path to loving yourself. Now guilt is the most devious. It is because it's a wolf in sheep's clothing, truly. It is self-imposed emotion that pretends to be instructive to you and quite enlightening. But then guilt, guilt can help you grow when you realize that your actions have been hurtful to others and that we need to make amends. And after we do so, well, then it's time to learn from the behavior and move on. And the problems that arise when we hold on to guilt, well, it's those guilty feelings that serve no purpose whatsoever other than promoting that self-destructiveness and that low self-esteem. No one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes and guilt is not always rational. But if you examine it quite subjectively now, if you act on it and you release it, it becomes a temporary emotion. So long held guilty feelings, they're never good and they do and they will create you a roadblock to your self love and to your happiness. So you must continually scan your current emotions for any guilty feelings and bring them to the surface for that analysis. Healthy guilt, well that's a warning that action should be taken. Irrational guilt, that just needs to be released. 
Moving on over to your purpose. I mean, we all have a beautiful purpose, do we not? And one of them is to really just be happy. This is about knowing wh- what you're here to do, truly. What is your purpose? You have chosen to reincarnate on earth for one major goal. And that goal is to express love in everything that you do. The obstacles of this physical dimension, they can distract you from that goal and it is easy to lose your way. Life on earth is full of obligations and they require your conscious attention. But that doesn't mean that you can't infuse all of your decisions with caring and with compassion. Your purpose in life is not your career. Rather, your career is guided by your purpose. So what activities really do speak to your soul? And what brings you joy? And that is the direction that your soul is calling you towards to best convey your own and unique expression of love and make a contribution to the world. And if you're not happy with your current circumstances, then that is your soul that is telling you that there is a better way to manifest your own distinct gifts. So listen to your intuition. It is truly your connection to spirit and the voice of your beautiful soul. And uh, before we move on over to the angel message, we do have a another guide message, which is about surrendering. This is about how you can release your need for control. So you need to understand that the distinction between power and control, you have the power of internal control, but you have very little external control over people or situations. So the majority of your external control is through the power of your influence and you can lead by example. So every soul has its own unique path and it's not your job to dictate it. Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is truly the way to go. Your soul too, it has a path and you possess the power to control it. But you must surrender the illusion that you have that control over another. Remember that this is a process and from time to time your ego is going to rise up and it's going to demand that things be the way that they simply should be. Envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things that you think you need to control. And then let them ride away into that balloon. Say goodbye. You're going to be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and you accept the energy but of surrender, the doors are going to open that you never even expected because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth. Your angel message is all about power. I'm here to speak to you about power because you're reminded that your essence is absolutely divine. So let no one diminish you, please. When you feel totally serene, when you feel at peace, you're powerful. For no one can upset or influence you. Your angel guidance is to find your still, your quiet center, and then heal your beauty, heal that anger. Purify your emotions. Rely on your own judgment and take your own decisions. It serves your spiritual growth to take responsibility for your life. So stand on your own feet. Be strong. True power is based on your inner strength, your self-worth, and that beautiful confidence that you have. So please, your angels want you to claim your power today. This is about affirming to yourself that you are serene, you are powerful, and you are confident. And this, my dear friends, does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that Spirit and Angels did give you some very interesting um, advice that you will be able to use. If you have any questions whatsoever, you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. That being said, um, I wish you the most beautiful day. Thank you for being there. Please don't forget to subscribe. Many blessings. I'll see you tomorrow.